Today we are going to be talking about what is the VF engine. Now, if you want, you can skip this lesson. It's all right. It's just a theoretical aspect. I do feel that if you are learning Node.js, you need to have some idea of what really is happening behind the hood. So today we are going to be looking at what is the VF engine. If you go to the browser and type V8 engine, this is what you will have and this is actually not making sense because what we are talking about is not engine of cars we are talking about engine it adds supply to browser and, and programming so the first thing we are going to discuss is what is a browser engine because vf engine is a subset of a browser engine before i continue i'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you motivate me to make these lessons con continue making this lesson for you and also to uh you get notified when i make new lessons so if you this is boring to you no no problem you can skip it and also still learn not the js no problem all right so let's talk about the browser engine now, according to Wikipedia, a browser engine is a core software component of every major web browser. The primary job of a browser engine is to transform HTML documents and other resources of a web page into an interactive visual represent representation of the user's device. So let me highlight the key points in this place. We have HTML documents and then other resources. So these other resources is where we come in. So a browser engine transforms both HTML documents, CSS, the scripts, uh, images, anything that can actually be rendered in a browser is actually interpreted using a browser engine to the computer. Remember, sometimes when we write HTML, we forget that HTML is a full-fledged programming uh, a scripting language that have to be com converted to low-level language. So HTML, of course, is a markup language, but it has to be also converted to a low-level language by some engine. Of course, you know about compiler that compiles a high-level language to low-level language. But in the language of web application development, instead of talking about the compiler, we are talking about the engine. And you've talked about, you know about the Java Visual Machine that converts Java uh, Java programming to bytecode and then it's converted to machine uh, language also using uh, the, the, the another in intermediate uh, tool in the system but we, that is not what we are talking about so let's now use a, a diagram to illustrate this now we are talking about the browser engine and not the V8 for now but we now see where the V8 comes in so we are saying that a browser engine takes different components of a web page, maybe HTML, DOM, SVG, Canvas, and whole lot of things, put them together in a web core, and then it passes through an engine and it produces object code, which is what the computer actually understands. So this is what a browser engine is all about. When you use a browser, you see that a browser engine displays to you something you understand simply because the page has been passed through an engine. So you don't actually start seeing the scripts, you see what is rendered. So if in a browser we have a JavaScript code that says var is equal to 24, uh, you don't see this code in your browser. You actually see the output of this code because the code has been passed through this engine and gives you the output. Now, when you write JavaScript code, if you write JavaScript code and it passes through the browser engine, the JavaScript itself is interpreted by a JavaScript engine, which is a subset kind of is a, is a component of the browser engine. Now, there are different kinds of browser engine. For instance, if we have PHP, now PHP now is interpreted by the Zend engine. So the Zend engine also comes in this place. So this is PHP, okay? But when it comes to JavaScript, it's going to be interpreted by the, the, the JavaScript engine. Okay. 
So now we have the V8. The V8 is a component of the browser engine. But what Node.js is doing, people that develop Node.js somehow pulled out this V8 engine away from this whole set of uh, components here. They pulled it out so that you can pass your code through the V8 engine and receive an output. So that is actually the difference between the V8 engine and a browser engine generally. It actually will help you use it without having the browser. It's just like think about running your engine without actually the engine being inside a car, inside a car. So that is what it's all about. Now let's now move to define what the VF engine is all about. The VF engine compiles JavaScript directly to native machine code before executing it. Instead of more traditional techniques such as interpreting bytecode or compiling the whole program to machine code and executing it on a file system. So the VF engine does not actually need to pass through the browser. It simply takes the program you've written uh, and then translates it into machine code that can easily run on the runtime. Now, what is the runtime? The runtime is Node.js. So try to take some time to get your head around this. And finally, one more diagram I would like you to look at is this. Now, when you run JavaScript in a browser, and this is exactly what we've explained before, you have your JavaScript, it goes into the browser, it comes into the JavaScript engine, which is into, inside the browser, and it gives you, it renders something that you can see. But now, when it comes to Node.js, you see the browser is no longer there. You have the JavaScript source code. Of course, if you are working with Node.js, you are actually writing JavaScript code. It passes through the engine and gives you an output. So that is basically how the VF engine works. It bypasses the browser. That is one thing you want to keep in mind. It doesn't need the browser to work. It can work on its own and interpret scripts that can run and provide the needed output. I'd like to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing as well. I'd like to encourage you to continue learning Node.js. It's something very easy. It's something you can do. And it's something we can complete in the next two, three months and then we easily get uh, what we want. For instance, you are looking for a job. This is something that can get you a job very easily because everything is now shifting from traditional JavaScript to Node.js. So remember to subscribe and also leave a comment below. If there is something I need to do better about these videos I'm making, please let me know and I'm going to respond to you immediately. I would like to thank you for viewing. I remain kind to the Tech Pro.